All right, Coach, we're going to get started with Kellen Olson, followed by Gerald Brigand. Hey, Monty, I just had a general question just on in terms of the <clears throat> rotation that you've played through four games and just how you approach a playoff series like this where not being too reactionary about the way guys are playing and, and wow. keeping that trust going you've talked about with your players, but at the same time exploring changes that they need to be made. Um, I mean, there is some thought to, you know, tinkering a little bit. Um, you know, there's <clears throat> there's different ways to do it, though. I think one way is to match up better with um, their lineups that have been effective. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to change the personnel, um, so to speak. I think one thing that <clears throat> ends up happening when you lose someone like Book, everybody moves up the pecking order, and, and that's a different um, rotation in itself. And so, you know, that that is something that is on my mind, wow. on the mind of our staff, um, what that looks like. You know, I, I'm not quite sure. I think I can do a better job of um, the end game matchup um, when it happens. You know, if they take somebody out that we want to match up against, like making sure we match up properly against that particular matchup. You were able to get a lot of playmaking out of Mikel, Jay, and Cam. Mikel especially was really aggressive getting downhill in that second quarter. How much of it is that a necessity in the offense without Book? It was really good in the first half. Um, last night, we, we, if you watch, as you guys did, um, <clears throat> we played in not just in point five, we played in an aggressive attack mode to get to the paint. And... Um, I thought the lack of shot making probably messed with us a little bit in that regard. Um, but when you don't have book, you know, it's, it's really important to touch the paint um, as, as best you can. And I think there was a bit of frustration that we weren't getting to the free throw line like we thought we should have when we did get to the paint. But we, we have to play through that, that frustration. Uh, the last thing I had, Chris has seen everything in the league at this point. Willie's obviously been playing him with a lot of full court pressure, had Alvarado there in crunch time. Just how have you seen Chris uh, battle through that and the, and the adjustments you guys have made just to help him with that a little bit? It, it's been, you know, the games we've won, it's pretty obvious. We've handled it pretty well. Uh, last night in the first half, I thought we did a good job. In the second, um, second half, it, it wasn't necessarily the the pressure it was a lot of the the antics and physicality I thought hurt us a little bit and then um when Jay got in <clears throat> when Jay had the ball and he was able to initiate I thought we were in in good shape a lot of this stuff comes down to making or missing a shot um, there were times where we got into our offense we had a wide open look we just missed it and um I, I got a get our guys thinking and playing the way that we've played all year long. And, and that's just the hoop and let it fly. And uh, there's a freedom with that that I, I haven't felt consistently with our team. Next up is Gerald Brigade, followed by Colin Harmon. Hey, Coach, when you're dealing with two guys who can pull up off the dribble like CJ and, and Brandon, um, how have you liked your guys' navigation through those screens? Because those are guys that, you know, like to weave around those screens. Do you feel like you, when you watch back the film, have done a good enough job getting through those? Or would you like to see a little bit more in that regard? I think we're get, doing a much better job or a decent job of getting through. I, I think the thing that's a struggle is with the way the screens are being set, they're able to get to their strong hand again. And even though you force them away from that hand, um, we haven't done a consistently good enough job of forcing them where we want, it, want them to go. I thought we did a much better job with Brandon in the second half of forcing him, you know, where we wanted him to go. He's a tough shot maker, um, but it is on the agenda as far as like where we want those guys to go and, and the pressure that they need to see every time we, you know, they're in that screen environment. When you're dealing with a guy that hits those tough shots like that, 
you know, in a smaller sample size of playoff games, kind of similar question to Kellen's, you know, do you kind of stick with what you're doing and hope that at some point those contested shots stop falling or, or do you try to tweak some certain things and try something different? I think both, you know, you, you have to um, obviously contest all of those shots without fouling. Um, but then there's some things that we can do, I can do schematically to just change it up a little bit. Um, you know, you're reluctant to change when the series has been, you know, this tight. And <clears throat> we have made some changes that may go unnoticed, but um, th there's a couple of things that we have on the, on the docket right now that we may implement tomorrow just to, you know, give those guys a different look. Next up is going to be Colin Harmon, followed by Greg Moore. Hey, Monty, uh, just with the shots not falling, book being out, I mean, the emotions of this series and the game last night and, and being a one seed now in a best of three, I'm just curious where you think you guys are at mentally right now and, and with confidence at the moment. I think our guys are right where everybody would imagine. Um, we earned the, this right to be in this position. We have home court advantage that that was earned, but there's also the human side of it. Um, you know, we, we felt like we could have won last night's game had we knocked down a few more shots. There's a, there's a stinging that goes with that. Um, at the same time, we do have the experience of being in this situation to a degree last year in the first round against the Lakers. And, um, you know, that that was when we played our best basketball uh, was after the, the situation that we found ourselves in on the road. And so I think it's something that we all are embracing. Um, you could look at it a number of ways, you know, who thought we'd have an injury to, to book and, and be in this situation, but you can't change that. Um, we won two games we lost two games that's just the reality we're at home in front of our fans and we get a chance to go out there and, and consistently show the kind of basketball that we played all year that we've yet to show um, in this series the last one for me I mean you you just talked about the the freedom to to let it fly I mean when you're getting open looks it can much be done other than just you know shooting your way out of it and hoping your your luck changes well, you know, we, we have a, a saying that reps removed out. The guys have gotten their reps in. Um, they are shots that we've made all year long, and I'm not going to get in any of our guys' heads about missing shots, especially when you're getting the open looks that we're getting. Um, they're going to fall, and I believe they're going to fall at the right time. And um, we're going to play our tails off tomorrow and it's gonna give us a ton of confidence. Next up is Greg Moore, followed by Nick King. Thank you. Coach, I'm curious about uh, your comfort, your comfortability level with, with, with guys getting more physical. Chris Paul said yesterday, is this the old NBA, is this the new NBA? You take a look at the free throw disparity, you take a look at the rebounding disparity, and it makes me wonder, you know, could a guy like Biombo play a little more recklessly? Could he set hard screens? Could you guys do a better job on backside boxing out, you know, just playing right on that edge? Is that something you guys are capable of? Or do you guys think you can talent your way out of this? Well, I don't think we've just talented our way out of anything this year. I think we've, you know, we were a top three defensive team for a reason. Um, there has been a level of physicality in this series that has been you know, I'm not going to get into my conversations that, you know, that I kind of led into last night, but it, it has been um, some gray areas in the physicality um, as far as blind shots on guys who are defenseless um, on the backside. Um, but we've shown the ability to hit first and go get rebounds. We did it in game three. Um, last night we had another 
you know, situation where we, you know, gave up some 50-50 balls. We weren't first to the floor the way that we were in game three. Um, Biz, there may be an opportunity to get Biz on the floor. Um, we'll look at that. But we've played with this group most of the year with a, a bigger guy in the middle and, and guys around them that aren't as big. We've, we, and we've been a hit first team and we have to, you know, stick to that. And tomorrow, you know, playing in front of our fans with a game that we feel, we feel like we can win, that, that kind of adjustment could happen. We'll just have to wait and see. Final question is Nick King. Monty, it sounds like there are aspects of the way you guys have been playing that sound that seem kind of unrecognizable to you from what you saw all regular season. Do you get the sense that a lot of that is since Devin has been out or did some of that surface even before he was injured? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, we won game one. Uh, Chris was lights out. Uh, before Book got hurt, I think he had 31 points in the first half. It looked like we were going to possibly win that game. It's hard to to weigh, you know. I'm sure it it has had an effect on the team when you lose a guy like Book, especially in the playoffs. Um, but we we don't have time to like go through all that. I think there's a our guys are built for this. They've been through a number of experiences. Um, playing with Chris, without Chris, with Book, without Book, DA, so on and so on, so forth. Um, it can have an effect on you, but at this point, we should be over it. And, and we've had chances to win every game, regardless of who's been in the lineup and who's been out. We've had chances to win. We won two. Um, they've done some things from a physicality standpoint that have you know, stifled us at times, but we've also been able to, you know, counter some of those things too. And the reality is we, we just have not shot the ball the way that we're all used to seeing our team shoot. And um, I'm confident that we will tomorrow. Thank you for the time, coach.